this is my Lane for the Buying Space Channel. I have an envelope here from Roy. Roy can't talk tonight from Horizon Picks. And Roy sells graphic novels, comic books, plush, eclectic t-shirts, uh, just all kinds of wonderful, wonderful geek stuff. You saw how I cut that along the ridge on the white part. And I'll show you in a minute why I did that. And now I'm cutting along the edge where he taped. The shipping department taped. Some people have help. Some people do it all on their own. And here we have inside a nice little tube that says Zen Sin. That's a very awesome and cool label there. And you pull this out. And it's a hair thingy that you can scratch your head and get some... Um, stress relief and deal with fall dandruff if you want if you need and if you don't need that's fine too and it pops back in there and it pops in the box see I had gotten one of these for my adult child with autism because it's a sensory thing but it was just the wire part and there wasn't this nice little container uh, this is so awesome because if you have one of these just laying around, it gets uh, smushed. And I was worried about when I got it in the mail, it's going to be smushed. But it's not because it has this container. Oh gosh, I shouldn't have taken that off. <laughs> but anyway, I will get the genie back in the box. I hope. And uh, get this to... Uh, my adult child with autism. Okay, wait a minute. It goes this way. Okay, I'm in luck. I don't have to throw that back through. <laughs> I panicked myself there for a minute. Maybe I need to use this. No, I'm not going to use it. I would buy myself a separate one. But I always thought these were neat. And this box and the way this is um, stored is perfect. So that solves the... Uh, you know, the hair springy thingy, whatever these are called. <laughs> Let me see if there's a note or anything in here. Okay, there's not. But I did do the envelope that way so that I can cut this label off and reuse the majority of this envelope. I can still fit something down in this and double it up again and reuse it and it's a very clean bag he uses all new materials which is fine uh, some of us recycle and reuse uh, I'm sure he does in other ways uh, because he has an eBay store he wants to be all professional so I would fold this up with this on this side a little bit better. I would have to cut, do some more cutting up here to get rid of this. But then I would put a label here, cover that up, and reuse this portion of it to mill something out. And that's just how I roll because I recycle and reuse uh, everything I can. And that's how I roll. So I think I'm just going to cut off this portion up here on the, to this rib. That makes it nice and neat. And I'll have to cut off this. I didn't mean to go into this mode, recycle and reusing, uh, on the same video as the unboxing. Usually I'll do these envelopes in a separate video, but I just did one, so I didn't want to go ahead and do uh, hold this until I'm uh, ready to do another one because I'm going to take these packing materials uh, to a friend this week 
and I don't want to hold her shipping up. Actually, it's going to be a surprise. I hope she's receptive to my ideas of recycling and reusing. And if you get this envelope from her, you'll know that it's, and you don't like it, you'll know that it's my fault <laughs> that I gave this to her. So, uh, just be happy and knowing we're saving the planet one padded envelope at a time. There we go. That looks nice and neat. Just need to cover up the barcode, put a label on it, and put something in it to mail, and we're good to go. And uh, Marty will be happy with her sensory hair thing. There, sensory, sensory hair thing. Oh my goodness, I've done too many unboxing videos this evening. Thank you all for your time. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and have a blessed day.